Yourself? Oh my god. Please don't take off like that next time. Come look at me. Are you okay? You sure? Sorry. Sorry, sorry. Please don't do that again, okay? Alright? Please. Jesus. Quincy. Go leave it. Go leave it. Yeah, mama, you. Hey! Go leave it. Yo, yo, yo. What are you Go leave it. Go leave it. Yo, mama, you. Okay, well, leave it. Yeah, mama, you. Well. Golive, yo 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 yo. Masina chio. Golive, golive. Na mama ki musiri ki ke o. Golive, yo yo yo. Mata golive. Mata makata ma. Makata makata. Makata makato makata ma. Makata makata. Mata di ma. Mata makata ma. Oh makata ma yo yo. Oh makata ma. Makata makata. Oh mata di ma. Si pe si. Your father is going to pay me millions, so <laughs> he is going to pay me millions for making this kind of hairstyle for you. Ha! Your papa go pay me plenty money, yo, because he know easy. He know see as you fine. He just find out like mommy water. Did I say mommy water? Mm -mm. You are looking like Queen Queen Elizabeth. So I look like the dead queen. You say? I look like the dead queen. Hey. Queen, don't die. <laughs> no, I was just saying the. Younger version, when he never died, when she's still there young, yeah, like your age. Mm. So what's the name of this hairstyle? Sorry? What is this hairstyle called? Hey. <laughs> you know at Mankasa? You know at Mankasa? No, no. Okay, you can call this one um, uh, Psychedelia. Uh, you call them Psychedelica. Uh, anyone where you choose. What's that? Hand me the mirror. They never reach mirror side, my dear. You can finish first. The mirror. Hey, the prince is bad habit to watch your face. No, you are not done with your hairstyle. Please, let me finish. Hmm? Hand me the mirror. It's a hairstyle, look. You know, like I'm. Looks weird. Lose it. Sorry? Lose it. <laughs> Sister, I've gone through a lot. <laughs> I'm losing this thing. I've gone through a lot already. 
Let's leave it like this. You will like it. Let me finish first. Auntie Gina Martins, I'm going inside. Uh, Prissy, come, come. Come, let me complete this. Eh? Prissy! It's your girl again sending warm greetings. Welcome to another edition of your favorite entertainment program on radio. The greatest glory in living lies not in never failing, but in rising every time we fall. Great words from the great Madiba, Nelson. Quincy, I beg, let's go and finish this here. I have other things to do. Make I finish up, sharp, sharp. Well, let me listen to Auntie Julia first. Ah. Wait, you won't begin give person where they say radio. Attention, pass me where they see. I love Auntie Julia very much. <laughs> person will not even know you. Somebody that doesn't care about you. I love who she is and I love her. This stop doing that thing. We don't be too childish. Come, let's go and finish this thing. I'm wasting my time. Yeah. Ah, ah. What's going on? Your daughter, oh. See, Bessie, why they make her? Bessie, why they take care of her hair? Next thing she says, she won't leave me. Go, they listen to one door, door baby, with the inside radio. I don't understand. Auntie Julia, that's a door. She's my favorite presenter. Huh. I beg, leave that and make we go do what we do. I know they get time for all these things. Huh. You and your Auntie Julia. Uh, Obi, if little girl wants to listen to the radio, then you should let her, okay? Thanks, Dad. Yeah. See, yeah, how do you see it? I never knew you. I finished your guys. Leave my cup upstairs. I want to show you something. He's all the time distracting me. You don't get one of the Um, When you're done, we'll go for a stroll, okay? Okay. Can it be one of that small? Slow down, slow down. 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 Julia. Hi, Mr. Victor. I'm glad you're here to give him support because this guy here is not in shape. Don't worry, he's going to be fine. Hey. What's going on? Well, um, I can do better. The other guys were here, Tony beat me with the first position, and Kochi here, he wanted me to stay back so I could put in extra work. Why is that? I thought you always have Tony's numbers. Yeah, that was last year. I used to beat him with five seconds, but I guess it's everybody's world. We should be generous enough to share success. Mm, I see. So enough of that. Tell me, how is my baby, my girl, my mm. girlfriend doing? Fiance. The last time I checked, fiancé means way better than girlfriend. Well, um... So, address me properly. Me wifey. Mm -mm, not so fast. So I can please you? Of course you do. When Ben, the sprinter, becomes Ben, the pet lion. <laughs> And Julia Martins, the superstar radio presenter, turns into... Into <clears throat> what? A tiger, a tigress, lioness, <laughs> cheetah, all the female felines 
join in one that is what you become. Yeah. <laughs> I guess that's why Tony is beating me in the first position. Mm. So, but I'm not complaining. <laughs> I'm not. I'm mm. glad you're good. <laughs> I'm glad you're good, sir. Come here. Mm. You're good. That is how you do it every day. Now I want to give you tips on how to get flat on. So how to get six packs. What do you mean by with your don't you want to are you not a young girl? Don't you know that you are supposed to have flat on? Follow me. Go like this. We have to bring in Quincy for another surgery. What are you talking about? I thought you said she was going to be fine after the last one. What are you saying? Can we go somewhere and talk about this? I wouldn't want her to hear about this. Okay. You know what? Just, just give me the worst. I'm listening. Give me the worst. Go. She has retinoplastoma. Cancer of the eyes. I know. I know. Tell me something I don't know. She was born with it. And after the last surgery, you told me specifically that she was going to be okay. So what are you saying? Listen, the tumors are fast growing. It's growing into the other eyes. To, to, to stop further spreading, we have to do this operation. Else you might lose a, a sight. Yes. So what you're telling me is, there's no remedy. There's nothing we can do. My daughter cannot lose her sight. She cannot lose her sight on both eyes. What are you seeing? She's already gone blind on one eye. You cannot let her go blind on the other eye. It's not possible. But what are you saying? That is where we need to take action now. <sighs> What's wrong, Dad? What's your Bianca? Baby, you're fine. Uh. This is about me, right? Oh yeah, we'll be okay. Okay. Hey, Felix. Yeah. Uh, cupcakes. Everything is fine. Okay. All right. This life, one has to be happy with who they are. Comfortable in their own skin, their own reality. Because what makes me cry might not make the next person cry. Same goes for what makes me laugh. <laughs> I am tempted to love the way we turns you into an instant philosopher. I should make use of one of your lines in my program. 
weed. When have you ever seen me smoke weed? And by the way, what program are you talking about? Come on, my darling. Don't tell me you don't know that I'm a super on air personality now. You don't listen to my program, the live catch up one on radio. Julie? Um, sorry. <coughs> I guess you inhaled more than you can handle. Yeah. <coughs> sorry about that. This relationship is going to be the death of you. <laughs> Let's go! Uh, Help me out. Okay. Ah! A moment, please, Miss Julie. Listen, I don't have time for you pestering bloggers. Um, when is the wedding bell ringing between you two? I never told you that we are getting married. Well, the whole world already knows. Since the whole world already knows, why are you asking me? Considering the fact that you both has been an item since forever. Now you're blabbing nonsense and it's not good for a professional. Now let me advise you from one OAP to another. No, 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 no. I think you need the advice more. Ah, Miss Julia, tell yourself the truth. The whole world already knows that you're going insane. What? You know what? I really think I made a mistake listening to you. But oh, Miss Julia, a minute, please. Miss Julia. Get off of my car. Can you just give me Get just away from my car. yourself? What's wrong with you? Julia, what? Can I ask you two one more question? If you don't just pet yourself now, I will punch out your mouth. Can you calm down? Can you calm down? Why flaunt my engagement ring if you don't think getting married to me? I apologize for leaving you out there. That's not the issue. A couple of moments ago, you were complaining that I did not properly address you as my fiancé. I thought you loved me. Of course we are in love, but you don't expect me to go about screaming to every blogger that we are getting married. This is three years. Three years of dating you. And nearly a year that we have gotten engaged. What's the problem, Julia? Oh, come on, Ben. Don't fuss about this. Let's fix a date. Let's fix a date and plan this wedding. Do we have to hurry? What? See, that's just the problem with you. Always avoiding the issue. Babe, come on. Just... Relax, okay? Calm down. Why don't the pet lion come so that the lioness can unleash herself on her? Come on, don't be like that. <laughs> Come back by this. Which one I won't tell you now. I won't come. I've been waiting. Did I sack you? Did I sack you? How is she? See, like I tell you, time don't reach where we go call nanny for this household. Time don't reach where we go call nanny. Because the stress what they go through for this house, me self, I don't tire. 
Immediately it takes more time pass when you're supposed to come back. Where you never come. This girl begin cry. You know, girl, I know try to console her, to calm down. Sing the whole love by the one why not, the one why not. You know, girl, sweet sweet things why not give and make it take. Me, I don't tire. I don't they walk past my normal work for this house. I don't tire. Mm -hmm. Whatever it is you're smoking, or whatever drugs you're indulging in, you better stop. No, Felix, what is the meaning of that? Now, I want to know what is the meaning of that? So, after all these things, what I do for you now, you sort of want to pay me back. Felix, me and you now, who, who, who resemble who they take drugs? Eh? Normal person, they come back by this time, you just walk out, walk, walk out like this, like who they, who they use two by two now for body, come back, they ask me who, who, the drugs you are taking. I know they like them all, don't they become a sort now. See, person, all the stress where I go through, now this thing won't take pay me. She be tomorrow now, she go begin crying, more than this house, you go know. Dad, you don't come home late. Why today? Hey, Cupcakes. I'm sorry, okay? And I promise it will never happen again. that I will read your bedtime story now. So when are you and Dr. Bianca getting married? Wait, what? <laughs> Listen to me, Cupcakes. Myself and Dr. Bianca, we're just friends. And friends don't necessarily get married. I know she likes you. That's why she comes here often. And I think you like her too. <clears throat> um... First of all, you think a lot. And for friendship to work between two people, they have to like each other. So bedtime stories? <clears throat> So long, long time ago, mm -hmm. there lived a beautiful gypsy far away. And she was the most beautiful of all creatures. themselves and cry at their closet as if it will lessen their burden. 
I know Auntie Bianca visited because of my eye. I know my one remaining eye is going bad again. That is why I stumbled on that piece of stone the other day. Not so. Will the doctors remove my eye again, as they removed the other one? That means I will not be able to see anything again. I will be blind. Please, Dad, if they are going to remove my eye, grant me these wishes. I wish to see Julia Martins, the radio presenter, with my eyes before I become a blind girl. I wish to touch Julia Martins. And I wish to hug Julia Martins. This is all I ask for. I love you, Dad. Nightmares are becoming too rampant. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know why they are coming in various forms. I'm scared for my cousin's life. Okay. We are going to go to the hospital tomorrow. Okay. But I'm sure she's fine. Hello, am I on to Crystal Effort? Yes, please. How may we be of help? Okay, um, please, I would love to book an appointment with uh, Julia Martins, the presenter of the Julia Sketchup Show. Julia Martins does not work for this radio station. Julia's Sketchup is a private program independently produced. Okay, please, I am, I am not a media person. I am I'm an engineer. So, I don't know if you can explain to me in simple terms so I can understand. Sir, Ketchup is not in live program. She usually records it and sends it for us to broadcast. Oh, 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 I see, I see. Would you mind sharing me her personal number then, so I can contact her? That would be a privacy breach, sir. I'm sorry if that would be all. Oh, yes, yes, I understand, I understand. All right. I guess. Oh, no, no, no. On the contrary, I was uh, on my way to the hospital to see you. Oh, Princey. No, no, Chris is fine. She's okay. Yes, sir. Uh, by the way, um, do you know of any um, radio presenter called Julia, Ju Ju Julia Martins? Yes, of course I do. Everybody knows her. Oh. Yeah, I enjoy her program too. Quincy um, made a request on a wish list that she gave me that she would love to meet with her before the surgery. Oh. So have you tried reaching her on any of our social media platforms? <laughs> you mean like Facebook? Yeah, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter or something. You know, Julia, I am not... Um, I'm not really big on social media like that. Come on. Okay, don't worry. I'll do that. I'll message, I'll message her myself. Wait. You think she'll respond? Yeah, she should. I mean, there's no harm in trying. Your little girl has made a request. I mean, a very touching one at that. We should respect that and try and make it possible for her. Yeah, I agree. Okay, so let me start with Instagram. You know, why don't we uh, take it inside? Come on, come on. Let's go. Okay, all right. So, by the way, uh, this, this Julia Martin's girl, what exactly does she look like? If she was standing in front of me right now, I wouldn't know she was the one. 
Really? Yes. <laughs> That's so funny. What? What? Because it's very popular. Okay. She's a pretty lady. A little bit hot-headed, from what I read on the internet. But you never know. She could be a nice person, though. <laughs> but then again, I am curious as to why my daughter is obsessed with her. A, a wish list. Don't worry, let me just refresh my page again. Just be patient. I'll show you what she looks like. without a woman in your life. I wonder too. Yeah, that reminds me of the... <clears throat> last night. Okay. When I went to talk crazy to bed and all that. Okay. She asked me when I'm going to Wait, wait. To who? You. <laughs> <laughs> Leaving me. Come here, what are you doing? What? Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing here? What sort of question is that? What is a doctor doing in a hospital? Oh, yes, yes. You're not a doctor, right? Yes. Oh, <laughs> go, 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 go. <laughs> oh my god. Good to see you. Good to see you too. How? Oh, look at you, you look good. Thank you. Hey, baby. Hi. Um... What's going on? What happened? Uh, don't worry, it's <laughs> nice to see you, okay? okay? I will love us to catch up, okay? Sure. Don't worry, I'll Jenny, look how you transferred everything to our daughter. Look. Doctor, talk to me. How are they? Mr. Felix, you have a baby girl. My wife? Doctor, how is my wife? Doctor! Doctor! Dad? Dad? Cakes. You're thinking about me. You will be alright. Okay? You will be alright. I'm ready. Let's go for a stroll. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Let's, let's, let's go. I told you I don't want to drink. I take it that means you're still not ready to tell me why you took on your heels at the sight of that lady. I should be asking you who the lady is. So you 
it all Whoever the lady is to me is not the issue. You know you were visibly frightened at the sight of her. How convenient. Oh, please, cut me that crap. Listen, you know I can smell infidelity from a million miles away. Infidelity? Can't believe this. You mean you, you put up this, this strange behavior over some unfunded suspicion? You haven't seen a strange behavior yet. Listen, I work my ass and my brains off to build this public status for myself. And I'm not going to let you ruin it by your association with some refraff girl. All girls. Excuse me. But not with what has been said and done. Be right or wrong. With you, it all. Swinging like a horse. Swimming like a horse. Swimming like a horse. Dad, you can tell me now, Dad. Sometimes you treat me as if I'm still a baby. Because you're my baby. You're my big baby, and you will forever be my baby. Okay. I want you to reassure me that you're not tired of me because of my illness. Your illness? Who's ill? Ever since I was born, I've brought you nothing but pain. I wish it wasn't so. I wish I brought you only joy. Cupcakes, listen to me. I love you very much, okay? And you have brought me nothing but joy. And I love you. I love you very, very much. And nothing is going to change that. Okay? And don't say you're sick. You just have a little issue with your eye. And that we will solve together. I will not relent. I will do everything and anything within my power. And I will not give up. I will not relent. Alright? You smile for me now? I love you, Dad. I love you too, my baby. So now, I am going to lift you up again like my baby. You ready? <laughs> Come here. Yes, like a big one. <laughs> Swimming like a horse. <laughs> Presenter. I said we would be on our way. Dad, what? since I can't see Julia Martins before I go blind, why not allow me to at least hear her voice? She feels like an angel to me. Come on, let's go, please. Oh my goodness. Well, are you going blind? Have eye cancer. Come on, come on, come on, sit down. <laughs> Madam, please forgive my daughter, please. She's just Sorry. obsessed. Hey, go to perfect your healing. Hmm? Our goal to perfect your healing. What God cannot do does not exist. Hmm? Don't name. Hmm? Let me increase it for you, okay? Life is either a daring adventure or nothing at all. What I want us to meditate on today is our strength over failure. Why do you keep running away from your shadow? You took the question right out of my mouth. What are you doing? Why? It is not me the want. It is your burden. So why don't you stop giving me nightmares that makes me so scared as if I am the one that is the target? I need your help. You can turn your back on me now. That's why I need you. No, I cannot, okay? I have done everything I can for you. And you know what? You need to stop hurting me. Stop giving me nightmare, okay? Just leave me alone. Go away, Jenny. Just leave me alone, Jenny, okay? Leave me the hell alone. I don't owe you anything. Stop coming to me. I Julie! Just, just leave me alone, okay? Just everybody should just leave me alone. And disturbing you no matter what you do, no matter how you try. 
You can never hide, can never hide from yourself. No matter what you do, you can never run, can never hide from yourself. Your cousin had a safe delivery. I personally confirm that she is back home safe with her husband and the child. So why are you still having this, the nightmare and the delusion? Every day will be a nightmare. I don't understand you these days. One moment you're normal, the next you're acting all, all sorts of weird. Ben, please. Please what? Please what? You have been keeping a whole lot of secrets. And from what I know, people who keep secrets, they are very dangerous. Yes. It will keep haunting you, disturbing you. That lady. No matter what you do. Who is she to you? It will stay with you. You know what's actually got to do with this? I asked the question. Okay, um, we both served in Plato. We had a fling, but well, why are you even obsessed with this? You just said you both had a fling, and you're asking me why I am obsessed with it. Oh, for goodness sake, Julia, you are so disjointed. I just mentioned the fling just now. Oh, just shut what up! What about your history? Shut up, Ben! Shut up already! I'm telling you, you know, say that time when we small. Now, so they go to tell us some kind of story. Thinking, say, we small children. They go tell us, say, and eh, I saw Toto is taking a brain. Eh, Toto is reason from head. Say, the reason from leg. The reason from hand. Say, Toto is sometimes safe. Go one tiger. He go one lion. But all those things they happen if you do, no, but they came to what they told that and say, everybody can't die. They can't remain thirties. <laughs> Because the reason why, because all those things when they tell us as children, because they put up our head, the reason like tortoise. So how did you borrow brain from tortoise? Like, you you know not say you go borrow brain from tortoise before. See, make I tell you, if to say you know be doctor, just say you don't become doctor already. Normally, now tortoise brain is supposed they use. <laughs> Program. Really? Yes. I have an exciting news for you. What? I bumped into Julia Martin earlier today in my office. Wow! You did? Uh, yes, I did. Did you tell I'm dying to meet her? Uh, we didn't really have much time to talk about that, but trust me. The guy who she was with is my friend. Yes. Wow. Don't worry. I will organize a meeting with you and her very soon. I promise Thank you. Thank you. All right, baby. I'm so excited. Um... child and I care home. An interest I develop lately. You know you're such a, a terrible liar. Huh? 
So there is a natural sin. Don't be scared. I'm not. This is my house. You're right. I've got an information for you. If you're looking for my dad, there is no vacancy in his heart. Dr. Bianca already occupies that. Of course. Oh, no. I am not here to see your dad. I'm actually here to see you and um, give you this. And like I always do. Do you love them? You're the strange person that you ever do. Yes, I am. I hope you like them. Why are you hiding them? Why are you going there with secrets? You know you're too smart for your age, right? But I have to go now. Will you not answer my question? I have to go. But just know that I'm your friend, okay? Take up, Kate. What is this? And who brought it? The mysterious Mother Christmas has been dropping those gifts. No matter what you do, it will stay with you. I'm so glad I didn't lose your number. <laughs> uh, thank God you didn't. So what happened? After service, you just disappeared and you stopped picking my calls. Um, unexplainable pressures. And if I explained, you wouldn't have understood. Ooh. So what about the pressures now? Um, well... Hmm? Yeah, I missed you. Missed you. <laughs> Look at you. Look at you. Doctor Bianca. <laughs> Okay. Come on, talk to me. Yeah, I'm fine. Let's go. Let's go. What? Um, yeah, just drop me off, okay? Leave him, leave him. No, no, call 
dad. Remove your hand from the eye. Calm dad. You save this your eye. Every time you go to do kebe 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 like traffic lights. Leave him, leave him, make. No, dad. Calm dad. Wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. Call <laughs> dad. Wait, Tina Sansan. No, call dad. Wait, Tina Sansan, they enter this eye. Make a blow. Wait. Valerie, please come over to the house, okay? We need to talk. Just come. You ask a whole lot of questions. Just get here first, okay? Hi. Don't. Don't come near me, okay? I don't know you. I don't have any business with you. So do not baby, come baby, close baby, to me. Okay. Do not come close to me. Let her go. Let her go. Let her go. Are you okay? Are you okay? I can see now, Dad. Oh my God. You almost gave me an heart attack. Jesus. Are you sure you can see? Yes. How many fingers are this? Come on, Dad. It's three fingers. Four. Like this. Five. <laughs> six. You can see. Leave this one. You can see. Nothing they do, I'm going tell and say, leave your father, leave your father. You go figure I'm heart attack or go even pursue I'm enter accident. She just did my eye, my eye. Don't watch face, everything. How many fingers be this? Four. I tell you, say they see well. I will well, begin me, you they see road well, well, well. Leave my daughter alone. You know. Baby, let me feed you. Please, where are you? I'm in the house and there's no one here. Girl, you're scaring me right now. I don't like this. I said there's no one in this house. I'm... Please, whatever it is that's going on, just come back here. Hurry, please. I'll just be waiting, okay?
stay with you. If I stay with you. Oh my God. She broke up with Ben. I thought you guys were moving on well. He's cheating on me. I can't stand it, especially with the girl involved. The girl involved. What oh girl? Listen, Valerie, this is not time for you to ask me questions, okay? I need to leave this place. I need to go away. You're not, you're, you're not, you're not serious, right? Girl, you need to calm down. This whole thing, I need Do to Do not ask me to calm down. Are you coming to help me pack or not? No, girl, listen. No, you can't do that. Remember we have an interview in two days and I already told the producer that you'll be ready. Cancel it. I can't. <laughs> Julie, who out there has it already that you're hiding some dark secrets? We need this interview. We need to save your face and career. Please. I no longer care. See this girl. Please, if I don't tie out. Since we doctor, I can't enter here. I can't do check off her eyes. Now, so they get the praise from since the praise game. Yeah, they ask her, how you take the sea with you? Maybe you get eye problem. How you take the sea with you? The praise there. Now, so she go keep eye like this, like a ninja one eye. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How do you not know that that's not a nice thing to say? This is not a joke. It's not a joke. I tell you too. Like serious. It. Nothing cherry actually. Um, it's just that at this point we have determined that the tumor is still confined to the cognac. Uh, that sounds disturbing, really disturbing. I know. It's just that we have a little more time to stretch our hopes. I've sent a result to a friend in the US for a further consultancy advice. Well, all the same, it all boils down to having the surgery right. Yes. In case of recurrent retinoblastoma, a patient has a very high risk of developing a brain tumor. Oh God, God, why am I talking? Why? Excuse me. Oh, no, I was, I wasn't talking to you. Um, by the way, were you able to get the number of um, Julian Martins? Are you okay? Ooh. Julia. Ooh. Missing this interview is not the best idea. Damn the interview, Val. Okay, I am going to tell people about myself the way I want to say it on my program. Are you going to help me pack or not? You know, that wouldn't be exactly the same thing as confiding in the public through an independent presenter, would it? going to do it only on one condition the interview has to be here in my place it's a live interview 
you better take it or you leave it. That's the only way I can do it, okay? No crowd, just the presenter and I. Julia. Are you, are you expecting anyone? No, I'm not. Um, please, whoever it is, just tell the person that I'm not in, okay? Um, forgive my intuition, you must be Julia Martin. And oh, sorry, forgive my manners as well. Engineer Felix. Engineer Felix, yes. Uh, uh, it's, a, it's a pleasure to meet you. Spider of all the disguise. Not still. You must be a fan. Uh, no. Uh, yes, yes. And I, I have an, I have an eleven-year-old daughter. Yes, and um, she's a big fan of Julia's work. She, she listens to all of her programs. As a matter of fact, she's addicted to her voice. Yes, and um, she's scheduled for an eye surgery soon. Her one wish is to set eyes upon Julia before it happens. lose the other one. Trust me, this will mean the world to her. If not, I would not be here. I'm so sorry. Um, when is the surgery? Uh, in a few days. Can you help me, Richard? I okay. Uh, sh 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 she's in Crystal Hospital. Okay, I'll, I'll see what I can do. Oh, all right, thank you so much. Thank you. This is the first outfit. If you don't like this one, you can. If you were the one going blind, would you be crying? Which kind of question be that one? No, I won't understand. What do you want to make me go blind? Huh? See, this girl don't tell you. No, they talk this thing. Nothing will ever make you go blind for this life. I know saying I fear they do this thing. You suppose gay mind. Why fear they make you and they see you as the shiva? Nothing will happen to you. This eye will come back normal. You say ginger yourself. Why do you want make the devil uh, uh, begin laugh? When you are supposed to make the devil cry. Huh? Gay mind. That's how when I was small, anytime I asked my mom, dad would always say she's in the market. So now that you're lying, I know. So answer me. If you're the one going blind, what would you do? Make I even ask you first. This thing where they always the buga, I'm 11 years old, I'm 11 years old. Who tell you say 11 years old, an old woman? 11 years old, we never even know how to bath all the time because they form like say you don't know everything with your small age. Okay, if I won't go blind, you know, the last thing where I go like see an angel of God. You see, Auntie Julia is like an angel to me. Which guy is that? No, I don't know which guy. You don't ever see an angel when they say anything. Eh? Not before heaven, angel is there. Now, waiting in the top, they fatten 
You said the girl is going blind? Yeah, that's what he said. I mean, why do you look worried as though you know the girl? You said she's my fan. Do you know how many of my innocent fans that are out there? So you're going to see her then? No, I can't. Julie, this is her only wish before she she'll probably go blind. Forever. Well, let me just stop, okay? Stop trying to tell me about this girl. I have my own problems too. Haunting you and disturbing you no matter what you do. No matter how you try, you can never hide. You're right. I mean, a moment alone should help you clear this worried some head of yours. So, see your girlfriend. Um, on a second thought, baby, you know I love you. But I think I'll hold on to this. You've been taking way too much lately. Take care of yourself, okay? Felix, is the audacity for me? How can you be blocking someone else's gate? I have to convince her that this is serious. I have to. But this is not the way to go about it. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? I thought I told you I don't want you around me anymore. What are you doing here, you murderer? No need. Trust me, I, I don't know what is wrong with her. Trust me, this attitude of ass is not because she caught me kissing her boyfriend or her fiancé. Well, I'm going to be here until she returns. No, come on. I don't think it's a good idea. What else do you want me to do? What else? I wouldn't forgive myself if my daughter loses her sight without seeing her. I feel like I'm failing here. Huh? I understand. And that was why I followed you here. To explain how critical her condition is. But I don't know what's really fitting out. I think you should go. Um, I'll I'll sort this out. Maybe I'll call Ben. A fiance. Hey Ben. Look, I'm not fine. Please, I really need your help. It's about your fiancé. Jenny, I need answers. I need answers. Because I don't understand why you will abandon me with our child. Knowing that I love you, that I still love you, why? Abandon your child? But our child is still in here. But See? What She's kicking. Mom, I'm already here. They didn't even give me a chance to know you. I want to know you, Mom. 
with you it all belongs. Jenny, we need answers. And we need it now. Pretense and lies. The truth remains with you. She made me do it. Ask her. It's all her fault. Julia, why? Julia, why? Julia, why? Julia, why? Julia, why? Julia, why? Stop, stop. Why? Stop, 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 stop. Take her upstairs and clean her up. Let me see if she can sleep, okay? That's fine. Um, I'll fix her some coffee. Where's the kitchen? Thank you so much. It's over there by the left. Okay, all right. me how she is you've caused us so much pain so much agony for someone you claim to love well you must know she's broken that is how she is and all thanks to you she's nowhere to be found what do you mean by she's nowhere to be found I practically bundled her in here from the streets last night Drunk to stupor. I cleaned her up and I laid her to bed and made sure she slept before I left this place. So what do you mean by she's nowhere to be found? Oh, you left? You left her in that condition? Oh, please. Don't even go there. For goodness sake, do you know what time it was when she sobered up and decided to send me out of this house like one little boy? So what are you doing here then? Seeing her in the condition she was yesterday, I didn't feel it was the best time to have a conversation with her. That's your business. I'm not interested in anything that has to do with you. I need to go look for her. We need to go look for her. You're going to be fine, okay? 
<laughs> she has wanted to see it you finally, finally, finally. <laughs> <laughs> Felix be that too. Make I tell you and see. All of us for this as you don't tell where they prepare to see you. We don't they wait, 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 wait. <laughs> you know, see as you see you now, you just keep eye on you. Like who see ghost? <laughs> Welcome, eh? Thank you. You don't have to be dazed, okay? I've been getting your notes and I had to set aside the important issues I had and think it through. And I'm glad that I came here because if I had missed this opportunity to meet this beautiful girl you have, I would have regretted it. Aww. Auntie, you see I always tell people that you're like an angel to me. Hey, oh. mm -hmm. <laughs> I see that. <laughs> you see as tears of joy in one cup of my eye now. Hey, oh. <laughs> I'm flabbergasted. <laughs> Final, final, you. I told you, it's over, Ben. Julia, I understand. I know we have been patching along all this while, but why? What is he doing here? I told you, I no longer need visitors in my house. I know. I, I really think you guys should talk and trash things out. Talk what? Talk about what exactly? With a man that cheated on me? And not just with anybody, but with Fina. Fina? Who the hell is Fina? Are you serious right now? You no longer know who Fina is. She's here. Oh God. You guys must be kidding me right now. Fina is my twin sister. No. Mm -mm. No. You need to calm down. Please. Whatever that is eating you up, or that is making you feel so hot about my late sister, she's dead. Fina died in a fatal accident two years ago. You are not Fina. I am Dr. Bianca. I'm not Fina. I know you both attended Uniport together. I should read accountancy. But here I am, I'm a doctor, so I'm not Fina. Yesterday is gone. What are you talking about? But not with. What has been said? How do you mean she's your daughter? I don't even know how to explain it. Whether you I carried that pregnancy for nine wrong. months. I gave birth Despite to that child. Oh, please, girl, cut me that slack. Really, you need to stop right now. What is your problem, girl? Everybody knows you've never carried a child in your life, so what is this rant all about? And this you, my mind is messed up. Maybe I'm going mad. Yes, you are going mad. You are, you are so going mad right now, I, I, I don't even know what to make of this. Girl, I'm so convinced that you need a psychiatrist, honestly. Because... No, I'm not mad. What? Julia. Like how? Is it even making sense to you? 
Yesterday is gone. Okay, um, but not with what has the been said and done. Um, Felix, right? Be right or wrong. No. With you, it all belongs. Spite of all the disguise, pretense and lies, the truth remains with you. It will keep haunting you and disturbing you no matter what you do. No matter how you try, you can never hide, can never hide. From yourself, no matter what you do, you can never run, can never hide from yourself. Every day will be a nightmare and filled with so much fear. You feel so guilty. Of what you've done You try to move on But the guilt is so strong The truth remains Why would God allow this to happen to an innocent child? An innocent, beautiful child No matter what you do It will stay with you I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to startle you I was just thinking aloud. I know, I know you were thinking the same thing too. The innocent child. It's my daughter. Oh. You can never hide from yourself. You can never hide the truth. You all the sacrificing big words to me. Now she's going blind. From Cancer cells might spread into her brain and, and harm her. No. Or even cost her her sanity. No. <laughs> I keep asking. 
asking God why? God, why? Take my sight. Give, give her eyes back. Take, take my take. Between you and I, who is actually, you know, we need to leave me alone. You're the reason people think that I'm mad. No, Julia, you're the reason people think I am mad. I can't do this alone. I need your help. Give me that bottle back. No, you know I hate alcohol. Give it to me. No. So much incompatibility. And I wonder how we'll ever work together. This cannot be true. Even you cannot believe what you just told me. Every word that came out of my mouth is nothing short of the truth. Val, I need your help. I need you to advise me on what to do. Girl, do you know how much damage this is going to cause to you? Your hard-earned career and reputation. Believe me at this point, I don't think it matters. If this involves a threat to your life as well, I would suggest to keep this to ourselves. Let's die here. I don't I don't think it's a good idea to let this out in public. Babes, for the sake of your career. I know. Okay. I believe in faith. So have faith. We'll be fine. I'm so sorry that I closed up. Oh, no, no. The apology is actually ours. We didn't, um, we didn't intend to impose on you. Um, I have to be. I have to be on my way now. Okay, all right. Let me
Quincy was right. You're an angel. You can't call me that. I'm not fit to be an angel, okay? Don't make God angry with you. <laughs> well, I didn't mean that kind of angel. What I mean is you're... Uh, you've been a ray of light. Especially in this dark moment of our lives. My family and I, we've been happy since you came into our lives. Thank you. Thank you for appreciating me. Honestly, I don't think I can remember what it means to be happy. I have to go now. Let me drop you off, and then first thing tomorrow morning, I'll tell my mechanic to come check out the car. Okay, thank you. All right. No matter what you do, it will stay with you. It will stay with you. No matter how you fight, you can never. Yourself. No matter what you do, you can never run, never can hide. never hide, never hide from yourself. Oh. Did he find out? You were the only one that I told. I swear. Babes, I swear I didn't say anything to anyone. Come on. You know me. I wouldn't do that to you. You can never hide the truth yourself. But you know these things are bound to come out somehow. From yourself. No matter what you do, you can never run. From yourself. I'll, I'll excuse you, boss. How could you be so wicked? Why would you play such a cruel joke on me and my daughter? It wasn't fair on me to Felix, okay? I haven't been myself ever since I gave birth to Quincy. Make it make sense. You're not Jenny. You look nothing like her. Plastic surgery. Facial transplanted. Physiognomy augmentation. Science gone crazy, I guess. Why? Everything pointed to you being dead. And your family wouldn't even let me see the cops. Or were they part of the conspiracy too? This is not about my family, okay? Then this is about what? Back in the university. I was naive. And I joined a female court group. They were called the Lipsticks. The rules were clear. No one gets pregnant unless you're married to the man the Queen Mother chooses for you. The penalty for deviating from this rule is death for the mother and child. All of this! And you could not inform me during the pregnancy. I didn't want to ruin you, okay? From what? Same reason I didn't tell my parents when I left school. Because my pregnancy was already obvious. My goodness. I'm 
so sorry, Felix. They came for me in my delivery bed. in your womb for nine months.
I owe you an apology, Ben. My mind has been so messed up that I barely managed to hang on. I am so sorry for dragging you down with me. Well, um, it's fine, okay? You know, I listened to you during one of your programs. Quote someone. What quote was that? A broken relationship is better than a broken marriage. That. Do you think he will still love you? And your daughter, will she ever take you back as a mother? Well, only time would expose the truth. Well, uh, I'll really miss you. You know, I'm, I'm glad I met you. Me too. From yourself, oh. Ooh. Ooh. why do you look so surprised? Prince you called never me. Hide from yourself. You can never hide the truth yourself. Quincy called you. She has your number. She has more than my number. You guys get into the car, I'll join you soon. How are you? I'm fine. So when do you intend to tell her that you're her mother? I will, but that's not the extra complication she needs right now. I agree. Yesterday is gone. Um, what has been said and done. I'm really sorry. I'm sorry that I wasn't there for you. That I couldn't be there for you all these years. I wish you had told me. And I wish I had told you. Part of the reason I came back was to... To have the courage to... Hey. That's okay. It will keep haunting you And disturbing you no matter what you do you know we need to take her to the hospital, right? Oh yes. You coming? Yes. No matter what you do, you can never run, can never hide from yourself. Thank you for the beautiful gifts. The doctor said I'll be able to see you and my dad and everything again. Please give me your hand.
God has brought you and my dad together. Please marry my dad. Please say yes. Don't say no. My darling. I would have married your dad a long time ago. Even before I gave birth to you. I'm your biological mother. You, you're my mother. How? Imagine your rose flower, see rose flower. Your own rose flower, instead of white, is red, green, blue. We are not creating. Yesterday is gone, but not with what has been said and done. Be right or wrong, with you it all belongs. In spite of all the disguise, pretense and lies. The truth remains with you It will keep haunting you And disturbing you no matter what you do No matter how you try You can never hide Can never hide From yourself No matter what you do You can never run can never hide from yourself Every day will be a nightmare And filled with so much fear You feel so guilty of what you've done You try to move on the guilt is so strong The truth remains Yeah Remains with you It will keep haunting you Disturbing you No matter